<laughs> Hi guys. Woo, so here I am live. Funny story though, like right before I was about to start this video, our dog, Bruno, you know Bruno, if you watch our vlogs and stuff, I heard him like doing the gag. He's like, and I'm like, oh God. So I like rush over there with a towel and yeah, he like lost his lunch like on my hand. It was, I'm so I feel bad for him. It was pretty gross. So that's why I had to like stop what I'm doing, like go wash my hands like three times and come back here. Poor Brew isn't feeling so good. Everyone say hi. Hi to Brew. Hi you guys. <laughs> so sorry if I'm like a little flustered. I did not expect my doggy to get sick right before going live on video. It's a good thing that didn't happen 30 seconds later on live video. Bruno, you okay, buddy? He doesn't feel well. Hi, Calvin. <laughs> Hi, Katez World. Come here, bro. Oh, poor bro doesn't feel good right now. He needs mommy. Hi, your 15-year-old girl. What do I recommend you do to get fit? Um, yeah, let's just jump into the questions right away, shall we? So for when you're 15, I recommend you play a lot of sports. That's what I did when I was 15, and I feel like that was the best way to get introduced into physical activity. You don't really need to be going to the gym at that age. Be outdoors, play with your friends, make it fun. Poor guy, oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry, buddy, but we gotta do a QA. and a You gonna be okay? All right, I think Bruce's gonna be okay. Oh, my poor boy. I love that dog like nobody's business. He's my boy. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into the Q&A. I know you guys are anxious to get your nutrition questions answered. And thank you so much for using the hashtag AskLivelyTV because I have a truckload of questions. Hopefully, I will get to them. Hi, Ashley. And um, finally, solve the mysteries that are driving you guys crazy. I know that nutrition can be a really confusing thing. And everywhere you look, you're hearing different answers. Everyone's saying different things. It's super confusing, but, oh, woo, they're coming fast. Hold on. Okay, getting ready to start third shift, worried about when to eat, help. Okay, we'll talk about nutrient timing and all that stuff, the best times to eat. Okay, a lot of eating problems. How do I start a diet? Can't seem to commit to something. We'll talk about diets and why I actually don't recommend any diet. Um, unless you're talking about just diet as the way you eat. Obviously, you gotta eat. Uh, need some good chicken recipes. When counting calories, do you count free foods? No, they're free. That's the whole reason we call them free is because they're not counted. But there are some guidelines, should I say, when it comes to free foods. And you know, you don't wanna just eat truckloads of them. You have to eat still proper portion sizes of those foods, but that's the whole point of them being free is that they don't have to be like calculated into your macros. You just add vegetables to your meals, you know, and you can fill up your plate that way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I feel like I'm all over the place. Let me just start with one question at a time, you guys. I will prioritize the live questions since you guys are just right here watching me and I feel like your question deserves to be answered if you're here at the moment, but I also want to answer you guys' questions, you know, that you asked in the past too. What am I drinking? This is green tea, guys. Tea bag. This is Pure Leaf brand for no particular reason, not sponsored, and it's a, just like a green mint. I really like it. I drink tea throughout the day, you guys. I really like it as like an afternoon pick-me-up and like soothing little, you know, in-between meals thing. I fail after three failed IUI. I gained over 10 pounds. What's an IUI? Can you fill me in on that? Um, you hate tea. Oh, that's sad. I love tea. Maybe there are other drinks you like? Mm-hmm easy healthy lunch ideas all right guys so let's okay easy healthy lunch ideas you guys know my favorite healthy lunch is a big ass salad for me that is so easy because you just get out a bowl chop up a bunch of veggies put in some protein it's super delicious a lot of flavor super healthy every time and what's easy about it is you don't have to think what am i having you just have that Okay, we're the best, learning a lot from both of us, from India. Problem is that skinny fat, body fat percentage high, like 30, confused, please advise. Okay, so when you're skinny fat, number one thing you need to do, 
focus on building lean muscle. Trust me, the fat will come off when you have a good amount of lean muscle on your body and you're working out eating the right way. So don't just focus on weight loss. That's probably been your problem in the past. I know when I was skinny fat, that's what I did. I got even skinnier, but still fat. So what you need to do is get lean, focus on building that lean muscle. That's how you will get slim, lean, not skinny fat. Okay, thoughts on pea protein versus whey. Benefits and such, and are you supposed to 16 fast every day? Okay, so you can, oh, poor Bruno standing like right next to me. Come here, come here, buddy. He just wants his mama right now. Um, pea protein, I took that while I was experimenting with a vegan diet. Did not love it, didn't like the flavor. Um, did, I've always been a fan of whey protein, you guys. Whey is my favorite over the years. It's given to me the best results. Tastes the best, it dissolves the best, it's just the best. Okay. <laughs> You say you get your carbs from fruits and veg, but a lot of veg and free are free foods. So do your carbs just come from fruits? No. Okay. So a lot of veg are free foods. Here, Bruce, stand on the counter. Poor guy. He just needs me right now. I don't know what, what just happened that made him sick. It's out of the blue. Okay. Um, a lot of veggies are free foods, but we're only talking about the fibrous veggies, guys. So veggies like sweet potatoes, white potatoes, any kind of starchy root vegetable are not free foods. So that's why I say I get the majority of my carbs from vegetables. I'm talking about like potatoes and stuff. Oh, sorry guys, the question comes so fast. So I do eat fruits as well, but when I say the majority of my carbs are coming from fruits and vegetables, I mean fruits and starchy vegetables. Okay, whoa, 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 hold on. Okay, whoo. Okay, here's the last question. Okay, you're 14, you keep losing and gaining um, between five to 13 pounds in one in three months. I don't see a question there, I'm sorry. Um, what is the question? Okay, oh, insemination is IUI. So fertility treatment procedure, okay. So now that I know what IUI you're referring to, can you ask the question again? Thoughts on keto diet, guys. We just watched this documentary on keto that was fascinating. It's on Netflix, it's called the perf the magic pill, I think it was called. And man, it was fascinating. So I really, you know, I think the keto diet is really extreme and really strict. And in order to get your body into ketosis, you have to have like 12% carbs or like really, really minimal carbs. So do I think that the average everyday person can do it? No. Do I even think I could do it? No. But do I think it's a healthy diet? For, for someone who has an extreme condition, I think that it could be, you know, healing for you. Um, but I do think that in our kind of society, people kind of just abuse the term keto and they just, people think it's like something you can just go on and off and everything. But I think if you're really going to be serious about it, you have to commit and you have to be, you know, kind of, I don't know how you would be that strict for like an ongoing long term. Okay. So, um, you know, you guys know we love our pizza and we love treats. I wouldn't be able to like never have ice cream again. I just can't. Okay, so what exercise targets the fat around the upper outer thighs? I like for upper outer thighs, um, curtsy lunges would be my number one. So just try that exercise and tell me what you think. That would be my number one pick. Okay, uh, weight trainer belt's good when working out. Oh, you guys are like fire with these questions here. They just keep coming. Okay, weight trainer belts. I do not use a belt when I work out, no. Um, are they good to use when working out? Maybe if you're training for like maximum strength and you're really um, lifting super heavy weights, then maybe. But for the way I train, not necessary. How many portions to lose weight? That's a really vague question. It's the answer is different for everybody. In order for you to lose weight, you have to be in a slight calorie deficit. So your portions need to match your nutrition goals. Okay. No videos at this time. Okay. Yeah, you love keto. Okay. Um, nightshade veggies, a big part of your veggie intake. Nightshades, not really. I mean, I don't eat eggplant. Very rarely eat eggplant just because I don't particularly like it. Tomatoes, I eat all the time. Um, so yeah, I would say I don't avoid nightshades. Are there any free fruits? Not really, but... I'd say the closest ones are those that are really high in water content, but still, I would not, I wouldn't say that any fruits are actually technically free. The closest one may be like grapefruit or lemon. Um, okay, 
how many calories do you recommend for someone at a healthy weight who exercises regularly just wants to reduce their body fat a little more? That totally depends, you guys. Your calorie level depends on your body size and your activity level. So it's not like a one size fits all. I can't just say for females it's this many, for guys it's this many, because it totally depends on how big you are and how much you move and how intensely. Okay, so what do I think of BCAAs? I think they are essential for, you know, maintaining your lean muscle mass and gaining more strength and everything. And you can find BCAAs in food as well as in supplements. So I do not think you have to supplement unless you're struggling to recover. Do I avoid soy at all costs? Yes. 5% carbs for keto. Ooh, right. So did I say 12? 5%? That's, whew, that's rough. That's low. That means you're never going to eat a potato. Okay, I use a weight trainer belt. Okay, cool. Okay, is it possible to get fit like you at home with a minimal equipment? Yes, it is. Yes, it totally is. You just have to actually do home workouts and really take them seriously. Okay, can vegetarian diet help hyperthyroidism? I personally don't follow a vegetarian diet, so I think it may be better to ask a vegetarian that question. Um, but I do think, you know, as long as your diet is healthy, whether you include meat or not, I don't think that that's going to be the main thing, but getting your diet healthy, including lots of vegetables can help. Okay. Ooh, do, do, do. So many questions, guys. This is great. You're doing awesome. I've been a victim of low calorie diets. I gained, I gained my lost pounds very easily. Please help me fix my metabolism. I would love to help you fix your metabolism. And this new course that I just came out with, the Live Lean Way 28 Day Video Course, is really about that. It's about, you know, forgetting that the whole weight loss thing is just about weight loss and actually eating for health and optimal fitness, which is so different than just eating to lose weight. If you're just focused on the scale number and all you care about is your weight going down, you may end up messing up your health and your metabolism speed, which so many people have done. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it right, step by step from the beginning with the Live Lean Weight course, no matter what your history is, and that in turn will just naturally help you fix your metabolism. Okay. Do you have to follow your weight training or HIIT <laughs> training with steady state cardio to ensure you actually burn fat? No, I don't do any steady state cardio at all, you guys. I haven't for years. Discipline is the key. Yup. I don't like the gym very much. That's why I'm asking. Okay. You don't have to go to the gym, but yeah, discipline is really key, you guys. And I think that's one of the things that's really missing in our modern societies. Everyone's looking for the quick fix and nobody wants to go back to the basics of like good old discipline. Like you have to train yourself to work out, to eat a certain way. If you really want to be like a lean, mean fighting machine, like that's how you really train your body is you have to have discipline. You can't just, you know, do what you feel like. You got to follow a plan. Okay, uh, percentage of macros. Woo, okay, should I up my protein or carbs to gain lean muscle as my body fat is high? Um, I recommend if you have no idea where to start with macros that you start with a balanced macro split. Um, I do think increasing your protein, I mean most people are deficient in protein, most people. Not everybody, but it's way more common to be deficient in protein than in carbs. So I'd say most likely decreasing your carbs, increasing your protein is going to help. But I'm speaking to the general, and I don't know your particular situation. Which protein powder is best to use for vegetarian? I think um, we have a vegetarian option that we recommend on our website. If you go to Live Lean TV, the products I love kind of section will show you which protein we recommend for vegetarians. And you can also try the roots protein, which is a good one that has uh, egg and plant proteins. Okay, do, 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 let's see. Some of you guys are just talking to each other, it's cute. <laughs> okay, what do you recommend for BCA supplement? What food do you eat for that if you don't do supplements? Yeah, I personally do not take a BCA supplement. I eat foods like grass-fed beef and steak and chicken, those kind of things have BCAs in them too is dairy unhealthy it depends i mean in our modern society the way dairy is produced is pretty unhealthy but if you're on a farm and you're getting it like all natural you know like unmessed with then it's not so bad for you where's brad today brad's at the office you guys he's at work you probably you guys probably don't think we ever go to work but we actually do have an office 
and he is there at the headquarters. Okay, does meal timing matter? Yes and no. I don't think meal timing is the most important thing when it comes to your health and fitness and results, but it does. it is a way that you can really further dial in your results if you're struggling with that. And in my opinion, spacing your meals throughout the day is better than, you know, stacking them all at once. Let's have some likes, people. That's right. Get some likes. If you guys are really enjoying this kind of q and I know this is kind of all over the place and it's rapid fire, but if you're enjoying this and you, you love doing it, I'll keep doing this on a regular. I'm planning on every Tuesday for the month of May while it's open enrollment for Live Lean Way, but we can continue if it's going, if it's going great and you guys are having a blast. You stopped working out because your appetite increased and started eating more, but weight stayed the same. Interesting. Um, so you stopped working out and your appetite increased and you started eating more. How long has it been? I'd like to know like how long of a time since you stopped working out that your weight stayed the same. Cause I have a feeling like with a decreased activity level and increased calorie level that you might start to see some weight gain, but it might take some time. Ooh, I feel like I just missed a whole bunch of questions. I'm so sorry guys, but hi, Wendy. You're glad you found us. Oh, um, you got here a bit late, better than ever. Wendy, I have some questions from you that are from our Facebook page that I'm hopefully gonna get to if uh, you guys run out of questions. But have you ever thought of doing a video for people with chronic diseases like PCOS or fibromyalgia? I use those for example, because I suffer with both. I would love to help you guys. And I know that like these kind of chronic illnesses are more common than people think, I think, because I get a lot of messages about them. But unfortunately, I'm not an expert in those, and I would hate to like speak from a place of, you know, d handling a chronic disease that I haven't dealt with. So I think your best bet is to seek out someone who has personally been through that, or at least worked with lots of clients that have that, because they're gonna give you the best real life, true experience from what they really know from seeing it in person. Um, hi, hi, Aisha. I don't really want to do a refeed. I want to stay with keto, but I'm freaking out because no weight loss since two months. I actually do think two months is long enough for you to be following a certain way of eating to you know, determine that it's not working for you. So after two months, I would consider rethinking things and switching up your diet. Okay, a couple months I stopped working out and my appetite drastically increased, but my weight stayed the same. A couple months, that's pretty amazing. That is not common. It's not common. Ma'am, can you give exercise to reduce breast size? Unfortunately, guys, our boobies are not made of muscle. They are made of breast tissue, so exercise is not going to affect them as much as surgery. Um, so, of course, when you lose weight, your breasts will reduce. That's natural because some of it is fat as well. So, you know, I would recommend following a fat loss program if you wanted to reduce your overall fat percentage, which would also decrease your breast size. Okay. Just purchased program for women. Can't wait to start. Yes, you guys, I'm really excited because I am finally coming out with a 2.0 version of it. If you, if that's what you want to call it. And I'm doing like all brand new workouts. So it'll none of the same workouts for anyone who's been through the women's program already. You're going to love this because it's really like next leveling the last one. And it's going to be so good. You guys, I already filmed all the exercise demos for it and it's it's in the works do i think intermittent fasting can have negative effects on women's health and wellness i read so much conflicting information um i have heard that too that intermittent fasting could be detrimental for women i do think you know men's and women's nutrition needs to be a little bit different because we have a different hormonal makeup right so look at us women we have naturally higher body fat percentages we carry the children we just have more estrogen than testosterone. It's just different for us women. So I do think that we shouldn't always be following the same thing guys do. If you ate bite for bite with your husband, you would gain weight and he wouldn't, you know? So you really have to customize your nutrition to you. Do I think IF is negative for all women all the time? No, I mean, I think you'd have to try it to decide if it's gonna work for you or not. Do I follow IF? No, I'm always starving in the morning, guys. So I eat breakfast early. Um, what can I do? Uh, did I miss one? Okay, what can I do if a cheat meal, if I did a cheat meal, but the next day I couldn't go to the bathroom? Whew. You need to eat more fiber, girl. You should probably have a big salad or like a green smoothie. 
Should women do IF every day? If it's working for you, then why not? Yeah. How often can I have dark chocolate? I actually just emailed out about dark chocolate not that long ago if you took my nutrition mini course. Then you heard that sometimes treating yourself to a little chocolate is a good thing. It can be really healthy for you, but I wouldn't have it every single day. My personal opinion on how much I should have dark chocolate is maybe three time, two to three times a week max. Okay, hopefully that helps you, but maybe different for you. I don't know your situation. Okay, I think it's my diet because I can still fit my clothes. It's weird. Hmm, you must be on a really good diet. We're eating lots of healthy food, keeping your metabolism fiercely strong. Okay, for lo losing weight, should we take apple cider? I think you're talking about apple cider vinegar. I use it on salads, guys. I don't drink it. I use it on salads though, and I think it's very healthy for you, and I love it, love it, love it, but I don't drink it. What can I do, Maria, about what? Sorry, which was your question? Was the, oh, about going to the bathroom? Eat salad, drink a green smoothie, girl. Get that fiber in. Drink a lot of water. Make sure you can go number two, because number two is our life. You have to go number two. Where's the baby today? She's at her grandparents' place, guys. She is napping, but my other baby, Bruno, is way here. He's so sad, you guys. He's sleeping on the kitchen counter while I do a live q and I'm so, I feel bad, because like normally I'd be cuddling him right now. And I'm busy with you guys. Okay. Um, have I ever attempted the Murph workout? I don't know what that is, no. Also, recommendations for boot camp prep. Boot camp prep. I don't know, actually. Sorry, I'm not really like a boot camp person. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. So, th three days and if? Oh, I'm not sure if these are questions for me or for you guys. I just became vegetarian two months ago. I feel really sluggish. I can't take vitamins because for some reason they make my heart race. Ooh, um, again, two months. Like I said to the other person, I feel like it's plenty of time for you to determine that something's not working for you. If, if it had only been two weeks, I may tell you to stick it out, but two months is like, hmm, I think that's enough for you to know that that's not the right thing for your body. I've been on keto since January, only lost 12 pounds, very slow, following keto correctly. What are your thoughts? Well, good for you, dude, because that is no small feat. I mean, it would be so hard for me to avoid all the fruit, all the potatoes, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Sorry guys. But I think, you know, anyone who's doing keto and loving the results, like good on you, like go for it. Okay, I'm a thir 33, have a goal to lose 45 pounds in six months. Hey, I'm 33, hey bro. Was that Aisha? We're the same age. 45 pounds in six months, is that unrealistic? Not necessarily. The more weight you have to lose, the more like weight you're going to lose faster. So it just, I mean, the rate of weight loss, it completely depends on your starting point, how much fat you have to lose initially, and then also like your program. So I can't really tell you like how much weight is the right amount and the right time. Um, eating disorder, nutrition. Eating disorders are really tough, you guys, and it's a really serious thing. I, you need to work with a specialist. You need to. You cannot just, I hate to say this, but like you can't just take advice from a YouTuber. Like I'm here to help you guys, but you really need to see a specialist. And the sooner you do so, the better. Like do not wait. Do not live with an eating disorder because you can resolve it. Stop eating the white sugar. Okay, <laughs> thanks for answering my questions. Good, good, okay. You guys are awesome. Any advice for cellulite, please? Yes, did you see last week's video? I just did a video last week on exactly how to reduce cellulite. I got cheeky with you guys. I showed you my buns. I shook my buns for the camera. And every single bit of advice I have for cellulite is in that video. So just go back to last week on this channel. It's right there. Video is called how to reduce cellulite. How long does it take to get fat adapted and what are the signs? I think, um, you know, it's true. I know I had a hard time eating more healthy fats in my diet when I first started. I'd say it took me like months to get used to it. Maybe three to six months, I'd say, until I started feeling better eating healthy fats because at first it did kind of feel like heavy in my tummy and like slowing me down. But it took me a couple months. But trust me, guys, I'm all for the healthy fats. Now, I used to follow a low fat diet back in the day. Did me no good. 
I 100% believe in having fats in your diet. Did I see the movie Moana? Of course, like a thousand times. It's Kyla's favorite. Um, do combination of warm honey, water, lemon help us lose weight? Um, if you're replacing soda with that, then yeah, I think it would definitely be helpful. Um, ooh, whoops, 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 sorry. Hold on, the questions are coming so fast. I know, Bruno, I know. He's just standing next to his mom. Do we really need two days complete rest per week for women to get lean? I think you do. Um, you know, some people might tell you differently, but we're talking about sustainably lean, right girls? I'm not just talking about some like six week hardcore boot camp program. I've been there and done that before where I just went all out, you know, killing myself for like weeks and weeks and weeks. What happens in the end is you can't sustain it. So that's why in my programs I give you days off because days off are essential for your longevity. Okay, if you could only eat one type of vegetable for the rest of your life, which vegetable would I choose? Dude, how hard is that of a question? I hate having to choose like one thing or another because guys, I love all vegetables like with a passion. I love them, love them. I think, I don't know, I really like broccoli. If I could have like steamed broccoli, that's so good, so good. I don't know, dude, that's too hard to choose. 63 years young, what, what is possible to tone up this late in life? Absolutely, dude. Gloria, I had a client one time who started with me at age 77. And did he get results? Absolutely. He was, he was the best and he was so positive. And you know, I mean, did he look like Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end? No, but like, did he feel like he was stronger and his life was improving and his waistline was slimming and all kinds of beautiful things were happening? It was so great. And he only saw me like once a week. So absolutely, you can make a difference at any age. If you can only, oh, did, I got that one. Did to do, yeah. So the journey is a marathon, not a sprint. There's no magic pill or magic diet. That's right. I know this documentary was called the magic pill. Like keto was like a magic pill, but you know, clearly in the documentary, they let you know that it ain't no magic pill. And it's, you know, there's a lot of information in that movie. So you guys should watch it. Okay. I'm a teenager and I do the intermittent fasting every day, train six days I have a caloric deficit. Can it be bad for my health in the future? Dude, um, when you're 16, Oh wait, you didn't say you're 16, you said you're a teenager. Um, when you're a teenager, your metabolism is different than when you're an adult. So, you know, I did a lot of ridiculous stuff in my teen years and I don't think it really helped me or hurt me in any certain way. I learned a lot, I made a lot of mistakes. I think you're gonna be fine. I think what matters the most is what you do, like, you know, consistently in an ongoing basis and you can always fix yourself like realize that you guys if you made mistakes in the past you can always fix yourself so what you're doing in your teenage years it's not going to be permanent you can always fix things okay fitness is simple if you really break it down in your head fitness is simple you guys that's what i love about fitness it's really simple but unfortunately people complicate it a lot i think a lot of people just don't want to believe really truly how simple it is and they just make it so complex and so much harder than it really needs to be but it, it is simple i agree with you steam broccoli is the best i know it's so good oh will my new program for women be doable at home yes you guys i filmed every single exercise demo here in my house in my living room and i didn't use any equipment other than dumbbells so everything will be doable not just at home, but freaking at the park, just anywhere you want to do it. Because I know you guys don't always want to go to the gym. I know that. I get that. I'm a mom. Sometimes I'm stuck at home too. I get it. Is it compulsory to take multivitamin supplements for women every day? Um, I take multivitamin. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to tell you that you like have to, but if you want to, you know, check all your nutritional balances and just make sure that you're fully you know getting all the nutrients you need why not right okay bruno's asking for the snuggles i know you guys look at him he wants me so badly okay he just wants to cuddle i feel so bad i don't know what happened to his tummy right now oh is knowing your body type Ecto, meso, endo, important for understanding how to create your goal. Yeah, guys, I do think it's important. Um, I just, 
you know, you don't have to categorize yourself as a mesoendoecto, but it's important to know what your body responds to and what your body's nature is. Like if you know that you naturally tend to be like big boned, right? Then you may want to choose a different type of exercise for yourself than if you know that you're a hard gainer. Like, you know, I feel like my body type is definitely closer to ecto. And so for me, I know that like too much steady state cardio is like the worst thing I can do because I've turned into a skeleton. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are 16. I didn't know how I knew that. I just guessed it. Hormones can derail any nutrition and fitness. I'm over a year out for my third baby and still holding on to the baby weight no matter what I do. Yeah, hormones, dude, if hormones are out of whack, they can definitely derail your nutrition and fitness plan. So that's why health is first. And that's why I really emphasize this in the new Live Lean Way course is just that without your health, I mean, who even cares about fat loss? You need to be healthy. Um, so uh, still a year out from your third baby and still holding on to the baby weight, no matter what I do. I would, you know, really encourage you to take this course, actually. I mean, that sounds like a sales pitch, but it's not. I really feel like the stuff in Live Lean Way is gonna teach you that, you know, maybe you feel like you've tried everything, but maybe you really haven't. A lot of times people think they're doing everything right, and then when they really get into it and really dissect what they are doing, and their daily habits, and figuring out their motivation, and their why, and all that stuff, and just really doing the work is what we call doing the work. It really uncovers some things that you couldn't see yourself, so that's what I would recommend. Best hotel room exercise workout is a body weight workout. Like just get down, do push-ups, do squats, do lunges. Okay, I think Bruno wants to get off the counter. Okay, all right guys. Ooh. Let me, can you just uh, hold on a little bit on your questions? Cause I need to answer the Ask Lovely TV questions. I'm sorry, Bruno, I'm almost done. Okay, so. Neelam Khan says, how do you incorporate fruit into your diet? So on Instagram a couple days ago, I posted about fruit and how everyone says fruit is bad for you. Fruit has too much sugar. Fruit's going to make you gain weight. Don't eat fruit. But dude, why do I keep seeing dude all day today? Um, <laughs> fruit is absolutely healthy for you. Fruit is natural. Fruit is good for you. Fruit contains tons of vitamins and minerals, and it should never be replaced by boxed and processed foods. I incorporate fruit into my diet by including it with meals, so like balanced meals. I don't usually just eat fruit alone. If I have a snack, it'll be like fruit and nuts, or I'll put fruits into my salads, or I'll eat fruit as like a side with a meal, something like that. So that's how I incorporate fruits. I don't just have like a whole plate of fruit, but I'll just like, you know, have it in in small ways and yeah, no, we don't demonize fruit around here. I don't like what is what is going on with the diet industry when fruit is evil for you? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> You've seen differences in my body over the years. You're curious to what changes I've made and good or bad to have the fluctuations. Yeah, you guys. I mean, if you've paid attention to Live Lean TV over the last uh, five years, you've definitely seen my body change. You've seen me gain weight, lose weight, get, uh, gain muscle, lose muscle, all the things. And that is because things change. You guys, constant or change is the only constant in our world, right? Your body is always going to be changing. And this is a good thing. But also when you get to the body that you want, that's actually kind of not a good thing, but it's, it's, you know, it can be a struggle to maintain your perfect physique just as, it mu just as much as it is to get there. But maintenance mode is a lot easier than transformation mode. So when I first started on Live Lean TV, guys, I was in the middle of transformation mode. I was not yet happy with my physique and I was working to achieve that. So I was trying different things. Like I said, I incorporated more healthy fats in my diet. I had to adjust to that. I actually, my weight went up to like 144 or something, which was like high, really high for me. And you know, at this point, like today, I'm standing here 122. So a lot of things have changed over the years and that is because of dietary changes and me learning and what do you call it? Morphing, you know, like developing into a more educated self. Um, but the most important thing that I've done to change my physique is to really, you know, pay attention to what's working and not monitor the results as I go. And a lot of you guys have these questions like, is this right? Is that right? Whatever. 
I can't really tell you what's right or not for you as well as you can tell that for yourself by living your life, applying that to your life and seeing what the results are. And that's exactly what I've done. And that's the reason I put together Live Lean Way so that you could basically have the blueprint and the step-by-step -step guide asking yourself the questions that I've asked myself and all of that stuff. Okay, how tall am I? I'm five, six. Five foot six. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I incorporate fruit into my uh, detox teas. I don't, I just drink regular tea. No, no detox teas around here. This is green tea with mint. I also love all kinds of herbal teas are my favorite. Dandelion is one of my favorites, um, but I don't do detox teas. Hi, Carolina. Hi. So guys, Carolina, who just showed up, she's our designer. She's done an incredible, like mind-blowingly amazing job on the Live Lean Way design. So, I mean, props to her. If you're inside the courts and you're looking at things and you're like, this is so good, that's thanks to Carolina. She did amazing. What are the healthy fats you should include in your diet? Um, avocados are amazing. I like oils like coconut oil, avocado oil, and olive oil. Um, I like nuts and seeds. Mm. And I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything else. Animal fats, really, like steak and you know stuff like that. Don't be afraid of the fats on animal, like eggs too. Underweight, all your fat goes to your midsection. Any advice? Yeah, I think that kind of goes back to, I hate to say this term, I don't wanna call you this, I'm not calling you this, but it's like the skinny fat kind of body when you're you know, really skinny, but you have fat in the middle, that's what we call skinny fat. And the way you resolve that is by building lean, more lean muscle on your frame, and that will help you burn off that midsection fat. Hi, you just popped in, hi Nanette. <laughs> My zodiac sign, hmm, thanks for asking. I, I'm really flattered that you wanna know about me personally. I'm an Aries, guys, my birthday's in April. How can you tell the difference between hunger and being tired? Hmm, I think, I don't know, hunger is like when you feel your tummy and you like, you need energy and tired is when you feel sleepy. I don't know, I feel like that's pretty straightforward, but if you can't tell, then maybe follow a meal plan that fulfills your nutrient needs, and then once you've eaten all your food, you're like, well, it can't be hunger, I better sleep. <laughs> you're welcome. Yay, Aries, yeah. Okay, good. Do I recommend juice detoxing? No, I don't. I recommend, you know, that you stay untoxic by just eating healthy food all the time. Mm. Okay, back to my Ask Lovely and TV questions. Wish you would answer, oh, Gloria, did I miss your question? Gloria, Gloria Lagoon, will you please, Lagoon, can you please answer that again? I'm sorry, I missed it. Okay, uh, is it enough to build lean muscle and strength? Okay, so you're 36, 5'1", 107, confused with your BMR. Okay, so I can't do the math in my head right now, but if you go to our website, liveleantv.com, we have a calorie calculator on there. Whatever it pops out, like when you you know, use that calorie calculator and it pops out, I guarantee you that's gonna be the right number for you and that's what I would recommend. So can you please go to liveleantv.com, enter that same info that you just told me into that calculator and then tell me what you get. And I guarantee you I'll agree with that number. Okay, when are you doing live workshops, meetings, come to Europe? I would love to come to Europe, you guys, I love it. But dude, traveling with a toddler, whoo, it's a next level challenge. Okay, about to make a big ass salad. Yay, I love it, okay. So do, Mar Maricela asks, do grapefruits really help with fat loss? I think, the main reason why grapefruits got this kind of weight loss reputation is because they are low in calories. Like for a fruit, if you look at a grapefruit, a whole one is like 100 calories and it's like significant size, you know what I mean? So it's really low calorie and it also has enzymes that people say help curb your appetite. So when you eat half a grapefruit with your breakfast, then you don't need as much of your breakfast, right? So. I just think, yeah, why not? Grapefruits can really help with weight loss because they are filling and they're really low calorie. Like a half a grapefruit, we're talking like 40, cal 40 to 50 calories. It's, you know, it's a great way to cut back on other foods that you're eating and still feel full. Um, thoughts on legumes, beans, chickpea, lentil. 
Guys, I don't personally eat those anymore. I ate a lot of them when I was doing a vegan diet. Didn't work out for me, if you know what I'm talking about. I had some embarrassing, gaseous situations. I do not like to eat those because they are the magical fruit. I should come to California. I'm in California. I'm in California right now. I'm in San Diego. Even if you eat cheat meals, you don't detox every six months? No, that is correct. Because a cheat meal is such a small ratio of your overall diet, keep in mind, I'm eating 34 healthy meals before I eat that one cheat meal. So the ratio is just like teeny, teeny. So I don't feel toxic from eating one cheat meal because the vast, vast majority of my meals are very healthy. Would you do a meetup in Cali? I'm going there for grad school and I'd love to meet you guys. Yeah, totally. I mean, we already did one recently a couple months ago. It was very small, like group workout. But sure, I mean, the more people show interest, the more likely we are to do it. So start rallying up the troops and we will plan it. Oh my God, no beans in your diet? Do you eat a lot of meat to meet your protein goals? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a lot. Like a lot is a total relative term. And I think once I started increasing the protein in my diet, it felt like a lot, but you know, I'm so used to having a high protein diet that it's just normal to me. And like, keep in mind, my vegetable consumption is like, like four times the amount of my meat consumption. So I see myself as a mainly veggie eater, but maybe to some people who don't eat meat at all or who only eat little bits of it, they might think I eat a lot of it. But keep in mind that's relative. How much fruit per day? Me personally or like what I recommend? Well, let's just talk about me because I recommend you do the same. Um, oh, poor brew. I'm going to have to go soon. Okay, we'll have to save these questions for another time, you guys, because brew is really looking sad. But um, fruit per day, of course, depends on your macros and everything, what, you're, what you want your carb counts to be, because keep in mind, fruit is high in carbs. So decide your fruit amount based on your macro goals. Do I recommend stretching every day? Yes, definitely. I think it's great for everyone to stretch. Okay, I'm so sorry guys, but I do have to cut it here because we're like going on 42 minutes is the longest Q&A ever. I love you guys so much. You're so active and so awesome here. I have many more of your questions to answer, but that's good because I will be here next Tuesday and I'm so sorry if I miss any of your questions. These things are crazy. Everything goes really, really fast. And I really apologize if I didn't get your question this time, but I will get to it next time. So I'll see you then. Oh. Bradley Guthrow in the house. <laughs> come come say hi to the peeps before I shut this down. You're, dream parlor, you're the best. Yes, thank you. What up everybody? Hey, look who's here guys. Okay. What are you guys talking about? Yes, yeah, nutrition, oh, so nutrition, many things, nutrition. so many things. I love you guys so much and obviously appreciate you supporting and being here for the Q&A. Thank you, thank you a million times. Hey, hey. We got to take care of our boy brew. And so I'll see you. I'll be here again next Tuesday. So you guys can count on it. Same time, same place next week. Okay. Save your questions till then. Love you.